Welcome back, this is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos. And today we're gonna to be doing this super easy Halloween ink swirl tumbler. As always, I'll make sure to put everything that I use today down in the description box below so that way you guys can shop those items if you would like to. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's wake up, prep these tumblers, and slay all day. Let's do this. Today I'm working on a 30 ounce stainless steel tumbler. I went ahead and I prepped it and I primed it this black color. Now you see all my little measuring cups down there. I'm gonna go over those in a second, but this one right here, I have 10 milliliters of epoxy that I had already mixed up and I'm gonna put that right onto my tumbler. So the reason why I'm only using 10 mLs is because I found that if you apply too much clear epoxy on your base, that it has a tendency to want to make like bumps at the bottom or at the top rim. So I found that 10 mLs works really great, especially after we start layering on all of our other epoxy. It all can kind of like settle down and, and it comes out relatively smooth in the end. So that's why I'm using 10 mLs on my base. So after I get the, this 10 mLs on, I'm gonna go ahead and place it onto my turner. Okay, for the next step, we're just jumping right into it. We didn't let that epoxy sit or anything like that. We're just moving right on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hit it up really good with my blowtorch just to get any of those little bubbles out of there. Now, the next step is you wanna pick out your colors. What colors do you wanna use? I knew I wanted a green and I do happen to have a green on hand and I knew I wanted to use an orange. So I just kinda of dug through all my inks and seen what I had. So I, I already do have a green, but if you don't have a green, it's absolutely okay to mix colors mix some of the yellow and the blue there you have yourself some green just mix it up in the container and then just kind of drop it onto your tumbler that way and there you go and then you have some green and of course you always want to make sure that you shake up your alcohol inks really good because sometimes that coloring kind of gets stuck on the bottom you just want to make sure you stir it up really good so the first thing i'm going to do is come through with this orange and i'm just going to randomly place the orange because i didn't want the orange to be everywhere I just wanted little hints of the orange so you can kind of see it um, in the in the uh, little bit of light that's shining on the epoxy there. You can kind of see the inks kind of dispersing on the epoxy and we're just dropping it straight onto it. Then after I'm done with my orange, I'm gonna come through and start doing the green. Now the green, I'm gonna really load up. Like you really wanna make sure that this is fully saturated with your colors. If you don't, then there will be some white that kind of shows through once we start drizzling stuff on. So if you wanna make sure that everything is fully saturated, you just really wanna go up and down this tumbler with your coloring. I, I missed a few spots, but you know what? It ended up working out. I, I really like it. So, and the great thing about these is every single one is going to be completely different. And that's, that's pretty cool to me. I really like the idea of it. Not one is gonna be the same. So everybody really does get a, one-of-a-kind walking piece of art. Now I barely sped up this portion of my video here because I really wanted you guys to see how extremely easy this is. All right, moving on to those three measuring cups that I had sitting off to the side. All three of them have five mLs of epoxy into it, and I actually ended up not using one of them, so I only ended up using two of I didn't know for sure, you know, how, what I wanted to do as far as the glitter goes. But anyways, right into this first one, again, just five mLs of epoxy. I put 10 drops of my Blanco Blanco, or the white alcohol ink, and I'm just gonna stir that up really good. You wanna make sure it's nice, see how it's nice and liquidy. It's gonna give us a nice ribbon of that epoxy falling off of our popsicle stick. So now all we want to do is take that popsicle stick and just take that ribbon of epoxy and just make all these swirls all over your tumbler, completely abstract, no rhyme or reason, just making the, this stripe of coloring all over it and you'll start to see that ink start to take over and the magic start to work. I think it was last year I made my husband a tumbler very similar to this when I first seen this technique. I thought it was pretty awesome. So I'll make sure to tag that vlog up top if you guys want to check that out and see what I made for him. Okay, so for this next step, I'm going to take my blow dryer. Now my blow dryer, I like my blow dryer because it pushes not too much heat, but it, it's more of like pushing of the air. And you're gonna see me just kind of hit it up just a little bit. I don't want it to run too much. I'm just gonna kind of get it going, but not to the point where it's like completely liquidy and really running around the center there. I don't want that. I just, I just want to barely push it around. So you see, I, I barely put any heat on there. Then I'm gonna come back through and drizzle just a little bit more of my, my white uh, alcohol ink mixture there, just a little bit more. 
So I chose more of Halloween colors, you know, but this could obviously be done in any type of coloring that you'd want to do. You could even, I've seen people do these in rainbows, absolutely beautiful. I, I've seen people just do one solid, you know, one color. It doesn't matter. Wherever your imagination takes you with this, let it take you there. All right, so I ended up using all five mLs of my white there. I, I'm all done drizzling that on. And now we're going to start the process of kind of moving everything around just a little bit more. So I'm actually going to turn off my turner and make it start rotating the opposite direction so that way everything kind of shifts around. And I'm actually going to tip it up. I like to tip it up to the point of, you actually can see it moving back onto itself. And then I'm going to tip it forward in the same fashion where you just start to see everything kind of slip down so that way it kind of gets that movement going to it. So that's all I'm going to do here. I'm just going to tip it down and then I'm going to tip it back up again and then I'm going to lay it flat. So I'm just going to continue on that motion of tipping it, tipping it up and down. And if you have to, you can come back through and just, again, very lightly hit it up with your blow dryer just to get it moving just a little bit, just to kind of help you out so that way you can get more of that flowy smoke look to it and then start tilting it back and forth so that way that white really starts to soak in all those alcohol inks that we had put all over it. All right, so once you have it kind of shifted around the way that you would like, you can obviously absolutely leave it just like this. This could become a guy's tumbler or a tumbler for people, you know, who don't like glitter. Hey, you know, let's not say that. We all love glitter, but any, there might be some that don't. <laughs> but you could leave it just like this. But I'm going to go ahead and move forward, and I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle to it. So now I'm just going to take another one of those little uh, measuring cups that I had with 5 mLs of epoxy in it. I'm going to add a little bit of SOC Sparkle Dust and Dusk. This is like a really beautiful olive green color. Very, very pretty. And I thought it would go really well with the green tone that I have on this tumbler today. So I'm adding quite a bit. I added two scoops. And you guys know, usually I'm like, just a little bit goes a long ways. But I really wanted to make sure that this was nice and saturated with that glitter. And I think I come through and I add one more scoop too. So... Yes, I see, so three scoops I ended up adding to it. So you, you really wanna make sure it's nice and saturated with the coloring that you wanna use. But this is an ultra fine glitter, so that's why I'm using so much. If you were going to use a chunky or something like that, you really want those fine ribbons to be able to get this look that I'm about to do. So that extra container of epoxy that I had off to the side, I actually planned on putting chunky into it, but I didn't like how thick it was. And I thought it would kind of ruin the look that I have here because I just wanted thin ribbons of, of the glitter to be on it. But we're doing it in the same fashion that we did the white. So I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I have a nice thin ribbon of that glitter on coming off of my stick. And then I go ahead and I just run it completely across my tumbler. Again, no rhyme or reason, just kind of all over the place. And I thought it ended up really cool looking. It almost looks like uh, spider webs in a way. But you just go ahead and add as much or as little as you would like. I added a lot because I really wanted it nice and sparkly, you know. So after you get, get that all loaded up with the sparkle that you would like, you're just going to let that cure. That, that's how simple this is. So after it's cured, we're gonna do the same thing like we always do with all of our tumblers. We're gonna go ahead and sand down that rim really good, and we're going to apply a couple of coats of epoxy. So you can see there are some divots in it, but nothing too crazy, nothing that's gonna really be too worrisome. So we're just gonna go ahead and move forward with the sanding of the rim and adding our last, I, now I put three coat, three finishing coats of epoxy on this because again, I work in smaller increments of epoxy, which really helps out with bulges and it helps out with micro bubbles. So my three last finishing coats will all be about 10 mLs each and then let it cure and it is good to go. Whether you take this design and duplicate it as is, or you take it and let it inspire you to create something that is completely your own, I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this tutorial today. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.